Briefly, in uh, just a few words, uh, yes. who is Anatoly Kamgisha? I am the managing director of Accurate Projects and the founder as well. Um, that is the company being formed in 1999 and uh, having uh, focused on putting order in housing. As the MD and the founder of uh, Accurate Housing yes. Projects, yes. what was the motivation, what was the inspiration for you to get into this kind of business? Naturally, I'm a person who likes order, who likes good things, who likes smart things. Uh, even at school, they used to call me Mr. Smart. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I mean, uh, th that's my nature. So um, I, when I found that there was a kind of uh, disorder, uh, I said, now, how can one put order? At the end of the day, you say, let's try. Started a smaller project, and then we, that's where now things now have turned around many things. Okay. And that's why many people now are also ad adapting the same concept, and it's working. Okay. Okay. So it's more or less a working model. So uh, what has been the impact of uh, this project on uh, society, mm. on the population in the country? Uh, the impact is enormous, I might say, because uh, one, uh, when you look at the economic impact, uh, we have constructed houses um, close to, houses up and built and slept in, they are all of about 1,000 in 10 housing guests. There are also sites on going, coming up, Sites so ongoing, sites so being involved, is closed around, uh, coming to around uh, 2,500. So, in a period of 1999 up to today, 2,500, to be able to put up such a houses and such a kind of, so for us, we see it as a very big uh, achievement. And uh, that's an economic uh, kind of, on social and economic uh, impact. It has also transformed people because people have appreciated the concept that it can work out. People have appreciated the order to live in order. And now we, nobody can now sell a plot or anywhere which is, not, which is not planned. The moment somebody is talking about a plan, he wants to go where there is already roads, where there is road power, where there is already access road. Nobody now, because it's now a, a, new, a new phenomenon, it, because people have seen that it works out. Um, another thing is that uh, people have changed the culture of just develop, uh, building houses anyhow, anywhere, without an order. Um, people have started appreciating uh, living in uh, estates, because one time when we were talking about estates, they said, ah, ah, give me a plot somewhere in Kalerwe there, I don't want to sleep in an estate. And you can imagine, how can somebody talk about living in a Kalerwe, <laughs> 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 whatever. And we're talking about an estate organized and somebody saying, you guys, what's in yes. school? Mm. An estate, they had a different understanding of it. But now they have understood it, they like it, and mm. it's the way forward. It has also created a big uh, revenues because this country has benefited a lot from our project. We have been getting a lot of money from diaspora, people who buy homes back, back home here because it has been easy. We made it easy for them. Just you pick a phone, call me, I Press want a plot, mm. this is a plot, this is whatever, he sends the money on the account and he gets his title. The government has found out that it is the best way to go. Now they have tried to revisit the policy. Now there is urban planning uh, policy whereby you need to plan before you build. It has given a face of orderness. When you are flying on to Entebbe and you fly <laughs> over Kakungulu and you see so, so a beautiful is, view. And you see the yes. houses, you see the golf course, you see the nature park, you see the Moro, and you feel that, like, yeah, I'm going to a very organized country. <laughs> so it has given a face of orderness to this country. It has employed the, the people, the more especially the youth. We have currently, when you total up all our workers in different states, we have around 2,000 plus workers, people who have been on the street, now they, have, they go with milk at home. The banks, we didn't have any policy, any housing policy, any mortgage financing, uh, construction financing. It was not anywhere as a line of financing in the banks. But when we came, we started demobilizing them, convincing them. Now the banks have come on board. Now we are working together as partners. And uh, briefly, uh, what are some of the challenges? One, when we are starting, uh, we didn't have any construction funding, so we are financially constrained. It was difficult to get land. First of all, people to be able to sell the land was a big problem. Another challenge that uh, we didn't have a government support because 
it was seen as a dream. Of late, you have so many imitators. What is so special about uh, the upright model houses? Uh, imitators mean is that's a success. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, viewers. Uh, Mugisha, my name is. I'm the managing director of Accurate Projects. I'm here with uh, Double XL, uh, with Boost Baby. Please don't touch your remote. Let's assume I want to own a plot um, or own a house. Well, what's, well, what's the procedure? You just give a call. After giving a call, or you drive to our offices, we capture information that you from you to know what kind of product you want. And then we give you a form which you fill. An application form is part of the agreement. But the application form is you are applying to buy our property. And then it is our right to verify you and we capture a lot of information about you. Are you a Ugandan or not a Ugandan? If you are not a Ugandan, then we know that you don't need to have a, a, a mile of land or a freehold. You need to have a lease. Point number two, we need to know how you are going to build, what kind of house to build. Now, we also have standards in that application form that if you are buying a property, you have not bought land as land, you have to bought a project, which means you are going to buy yourself to the rules and regulations of the project. So you keep on answering them and also committing yourself that mm. I've committed myself to these standards. How would you love to be remembered? I mean, when, <laughs> <laughs> when you reach uh, your retirement uh, time and you know, uh, how, what sort of legacy would you love to leave behind? I would love when I am at 90 years, when I see no people with jiggers, no people with houses which are not, no trees, no flowers, nothing. I wouldn't mind even if it's a grass searched house, but in a clean environment, living in organized environment, as you hear it, living in organized environment. Once I see it working out, I would, I, even if I go, even if God takes me, I can die a happy man. Mm -hmm. Now, I have so many uh, young followers, you know, watching the show right yes, now. Yeah. Uh, any special message from yeah. you to them? I've ever been a youth. I know what it means. A youth is that person who has many roads and doesn't know which is the right road to take. If somebody wants to be an entrepreneur like me, I know he has so many roads, but which is the right road? The right road is you must look at creating solutions to the business you want to do. The, the solutions you create is the business you're going to do. Point number two, the capital is not the one that starts a business. What starts a business is the idea. The role of money, the role of capital or the role of money is to accelerate the idea. Uh, well, Mr. Uh, Kamgisha, uh, thank you so much for your time. It's uh, been a pleasure uh, hosting you on my show. Okay, please. I wish you all the best in your endeavors. Okay, okay. Yes. Thank you. Unfortunately, I have to scatter. That's all I had for you this week. Uh, but please be sure to follow Double XL and uh, DJ Bush Baby on Facebook. Keep the feedback, keep the comments coming. That's uh, xxl at houseoftalent.ug. Catch me again next week.